Sin Bet Salam, Shabbat Shalom. This is the continuing part of this 48th, this 48th Torah portion, Sabbath portion, known as Farajoch, Bamarinya, and Shoftim in the Ibrahist. Now comes the matter of when a corpse, an unaccounted for and perhaps unidentified corpse, is found. If in the land someone slain was found lying in the open and the slayer could not be determined, then the Shemagliwoch, the elders, and the Farajoch, or the Shoftim, the judges, the magistrates, were to measure the distances from the corpse to the nearby towns. Deuteronomy chapter 21, verses 1 to 2. The Shemagliwoch, or the elders of the town nearest to the corpse, were to take a heifer that had never been worked or never been yoked before to an ever-flowing wadi and to break its neck. Deuteronomy chapter 21, verses 3 to 4. The Kahinat, or the priests, were to come forward. All of the Shemagaliwoch were to wash their hands over the heifer whose neck was broken, and the Shemagaliwoch, the elders, were to declare that their hands did not shed the blood, nor their eyes see it done. Deuteronomy chapter 21, verses 5 to 7. The elders were to ask Ha Elohim to absolve the Beta Israel and not let guilt for the blood or blood guilt of the innocent remain among them, and they would be absolved from the blood guilt, according to Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 8. And this concludes the summary of the 48th Torah portion in our Rastafari Sabbatical Studies. Shalom, Ras Teferi, Senbet Salam, Shabbat Shalom.